I just think that that's crazy. Like, a marriage is supposed to be a partnership, and I just don't right. think that that's how it's viewed right now. Was it ever a partnership? When you really think about no, how, I don't how, think it was. how were your grandparents, how did your grandparents meet? How did your parents meet? Like, back in the day, if you, if the women were the, who they were back in the day with that kind of independence and, and, and away from that shame, the shamelessness, would they be with anybody? Like, because my grandfather, how my grandparents met, is my grandma was a goody two shoe church going woman, and her next door neighbor was my grandfather, who escaped Puerto Rico because he fucked his uncle's uh, wife. So he had to leave because his uncle was like, like gonna kill him. He denies it, but we all know my grandpa and he did it. But he, um, <laughs> he came down to Puerto Rico, uh, ended up living next to her, and he was a smooth talking guy trying to like holler, you know, do his thing. My grandma walked to work. She worked at a hospital, so she would walk to work every day. So my grandpa was like, hey, why don't you just let me drive you to work every day? And she's like, nah, I'm not going to get in a car with you. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. So he would drive next to her, like, every day, drive next mm -mm. to her. Every day until finally she, like, let up and are like, fine, okay. And then that's, that's why the whole family's here. But that's the thing. It's like, and you hear about all those grandpas that, or, like, back in the day used to, like, beat on the grandmas and stuff. And now are all sweet now. But you hear about, like, a lot of these older men that were just the worst. So it's like... If you dated back then, would you be would you be with anyone? Like like and, and I don't think I would. I think I'd be a cat lady. <laughs> yeah. It's like you can't do half those stories now. Like I can't drive up to neck to a girl like, hey girl, what's up? You wanna come over for a ride like every day? Like yeah. I'm in jail. Like yeah. and I love how those were like the sweet stories back in the day. Like I he know. didn't let up, he just kept going. I'm like, nah man. That's like, some you, stalker shit. You yeah. say no, I run. I'm not about to be in a blog post. Like it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's it's not gonna happen. <laughs> So, oh, not yeah. about to me to me. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> what was it ever really romantic? And that kind of, and that goes back to what you're saying, Daisha. Is like, yeah. what kind of romantic kind of fantasy are we talking about here? Was there ever really was a marriage fantasy, mm. or is are we just building this up and from nothing? Okay, so this is actually interesting because, like, you know, I was had I was in my therapy session last week on Wednesday, and my therapist told me we were having a discussion about the fact that. Feminism has changed the, the face of dating. Mm. And I was like, oh, what the fuck do you mean? Like, I was like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> and because the situation was, is I was walking towards my work one day. It was the day before my birthday, so I was very happy. And I just was like feeling really good, listening to my music and stuff. And a guy walked past me, but we made eye contact and he smiled at me. He was like, hey. And I was like, hi. And we did like the look back and everything. Like we, we like, we walked past and we did the look back. And I was like, ooh, like I was like, shit, should I say something? But then I was like, oh, he didn't say anything, so I'm not gonna say anything. Mm. But then I regretted it. I was like, shit, I should have said something. But then the traditional part of me was like, no, because if he wanted me, he could have had me. He could have just said something. And I told my therapist about it, and he was like, well, why didn't you say something? I was like, because I wanted him to come after me. And he was like, well, no, that's not how it is now these days. Like, Hell you, no. um, he's like, you could have said something. Yeah. And I was like, hmm. Please, I've for been the, on for the this love train. Of God, for yes. the love of God, talk to me, ladies. Tell me <laughs> that you want me. If you're on the street and you think I'm hot, you think I'm, I'm at a bar or I'm working out at the gym or all these places... Stop me, like Eli, or like, hey, what's up? What's your name? What to do, babe? Please, because I'm never gonna stop you. Because I hear too many damn stories from my lady friends about like I'm just trying to work out, focused, and this guy trying to holler at me. Listen, I'm trying we to, talked I, about I, this. It's I know not st that he I know. talked to me at the gym. I know, but it's you hear those stories, and I feel like such a douchebag if I come up to you, be like, hey, can I buy you a drink? I'm never gonna do it. I'm never gonna do it. I'm I don't not, wanna be that don't, guy. No one's saying to never do it. I, I just, I'm not saying don't ever do it. I'm just talking about my own fear. I know, uh, but I'm just, and I'm like, saying that for you. Like, it's not that you should never go up to a girl and ask her out. Just read the room. That's all we're asking. Like, I don't know, man. if I'm working out, why are you trying to holler at me? Like, or you could at least get me as I'm getting off the treadmill. I, I, I don't, the <laughs> men that talk to you, I don't know who they are, where I they know. came from, or I don't uh, know. They're, they're special people. But it's, it's the case where, like, I, there's moments where, like, there's girls that we had long conversations. We talked late. All these other things. I'm like, should I? Should I? Should? Nah, nah, nah. And then, you know what? I'm going to do it. And I'm like, hey, can I get your number? Like, uh, no, I'm, I'm not interested. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm not really. I can't. No. I'm like, oh, I have a boyfriend or this or that. And I'm like, fuck. So. But I don't think that you should be scared just because, I mean, like, that's, it's the luck of the draw, right? And rejection happens. I think, this like... This is very true. Because, like, the thing is, now, women, now that they, the face of feminism has changed, 
women deal with rejection. I got rejected at a party drinking rosé a few weeks ago, <laughs> and I was devastated for like an hour and 15 minutes, but then I got over that shit real I love quick. how she's like 15 minutes, 47 I, seconds. And I like... also love how you said you were drinking rosé. Like, <laughs> like, that was very important. You know, I was zipping rosé, and it didn't happen. And I just, I was talking to this guy. He was really cute, and we were like, it was a vibe. I was like, you know you're feeling this shit, because like, I'm drinking rosé, you're drinking a little rosé, like, we're vibing. And like, he, um, I was like, okay, hey. And I'm really like awkward and cute with it too. Yeah. Like, it's like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like I'm really cute with it though. Like, and I was just, I was just like, you know, hey, like, you know, can I have, you know, can, should we hang out at some point? Like, can we exchange information and stuff? We both worked in the industry. I was like, you know, you're someone to know. And he was like, well, you know, like, I'm not really, you know, looking for a relationship right now. Like, I just got out of something. Just wants the butt. And but no, he doesn't even want that. He didn't want the butt. No, like oh. he was he he was like you know some of us need time to heal when we after leave a breakup. <laughs> Usually that's the script guys say is when they just want the butt. Like I'm not really looking for anything serious right now. I'm focusing on me. But the thing was is that he was said that he was in therapy. He was oh, like you wow. know I'm going to a th you know he's like I need time to, for myself to like work through my therapy and stuff. I was like that's real. Yes, daddy. Yes, you yeah. with your self aware ass. <laughs> you yes. probably like that even more. I loved him. I yeah. was like oh my. God, this is so sexy. It's like, yes, you rejected me, but get your life, get your therapy, and then holler at me if you're ready because I will bust a wide open. But to that, me, I should go to therapy. That, <laughs> that's real though. That's real though. Because but that doesn't sound like rejection to me. That just sounds like you know, like I'm just trying to do me. I want to be the best version of me. So just give me a minute, like. I, I don't know. That doesn't seem like it's rejection. It, it's, it, it's it kind real, of felt though. like it, it felt a little bit like rejection. But I see your point. My therapist said the same thing, but I'm very dramatic, <laughs> <laughs> so it felt like rejection. <laughs>